let's do this again. Hopefully it actually functions this time like it should. That would be great. My, uh, my research topic that I picked was to look at different sources of, um, the American Revolution, particularly, particularly, um, ones that concern the events of June 17th, 1775, that's, uh, the Battle of Bunker Hill, um, the Siege of Boston and Charlestown, and then compare those to, um, interactive media like video games, Assassin's Creed 3 is the specific one that I will be using for this um, research, just to see how accurately it um, represents what is said in the texts that are available to um, people who study that field, and just see if the accuracy holds up to determine if they may be used as a valuable source to teach uh, history in schools, uh, colleges, high schools, you know. Um, I, th I think this could be a way to increase the level of interest that many students have in subjects like history if the research turns out to be to turns out to be successful um, you know I used to be a STEM major and part of the reason why I took it was because I would get to use some of the newest technology and new technology that was available in those classes I think if um, things like video games were able to be used, it could encourage students to um, gain a, a new level of interest in history. I know that's part of the reason why I switched when I did was actually because of this game and uh, I don't really regret switching at this point but um if video games are found to be useful and historically a accurate enough to be used as a teaching method and that does lead to increased interest in history uh, I could imagine that having an effect on the um, possible funding in the history department if there's a large interest in an influx of students who want to take history they will get uh, funded, more funding, I imagine, that's, that's what um, economics seems to say with supply and demand, that's why so recently, um, what, the engineering department here got a million dollar grant just because it is one of the growing departments at the school, and students do find an interest in that those subjects um, I, I believe it could have a similar effect within the history classes if these new methods were able to be adopted rather than just sticking with uh, the basic things like reading from powerpoints or books just like the majority of the other classes.
or at least social science classes. Um, that's that's one of the issues why we spent so much of the beginning of the semester uh, with the question: Is history can it be considered a science? Uh, a large part of that, I believe, was about the amount of funding that different departments are able to get when things are con considered um, within the realm of STEM, STEM they do appear to get more funding but um, yeah so without further ado let's go into uh, some of the levels in the game particularly uh, chapters 7.3 and 7.4 those are the chapters that look at uh, Charlestown and the Battle of Bunker Hill as I already mentioned Sometimes I wish my PlayStation wasn't so loud. It sounds like it's going to burst into flames. Probably not a good thing. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Breeze. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble <coughs> artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what right. if John Pitcairn? So as we see there, the it, uh, the, the game does follow how it was actually Breed's Hill that was fought on rather than uh, Bunker Hill, which is a common misconception just because it is so commonly referred to as the Battle of Bunker Hill. But, uh, Yeah, the game, so the game does get that right, which is a plus. So right here we see the encampment, we see uh, the number of colonist troops, I'd say a bit underrepresented. But, uh, yeah, we see the encampment build up, uh, which is mentioned in my essays. The cannon is, uh, the cannon fire is coming from the blockade, the naval blockade from the British. And this is the cutscene where there is discussion of going and destroying some of the ships in the blockade to take off the pressure. Now that's obviously a, um, a dramatization. Uh, colonists didn't just, or a single colonist didn't just go and attack the ships head on. It, it was included to uh, make the game more exciting, I believe. Exciting, I believe. Uh, sell more copies because the point of the game is for entertainment and history. While helping to create the setting, it does take a, a, uh, a secondary role in some of the uh, some of the things that the game portrays to the entertainment. So yeah, you, you can just run through, run through these people. No one really pays attention. Probably not realistic. But um, as we saw there, the uh, oh, jump. The city is getting destroyed. It is. Uh, it's in Frothingham's book, where he mentions that. 
roughly 400 different buildings did get destroyed during this siege. Uh, and I, I do think that the game did do a good uh, job at representing some of the destruction for the time it was released. Um, obviously the technology wasn't that good, but I, I think the destruction was significantly shown. No, no. Of course, this isn't realistic. This is one of those uh, similarities to films like uh, The Patriot. It, it's it's all entertainment pur purposes. No one runs in and completely takes over a ship by themselves, and uh, it, it's an, it's not that easy. But war is a bloody event, obviously. Um, so I think it does do a good job of showing how brutal it can be, but it's just not realistic in how it shows that brutality again, used for the entertainment value rather than historical accuracy. Uh, so here we have an assault on the second ship. Combat isn't the most difficult thing. Yeah, this, this never happened. Um, like we see in the... Um, the map. The uh, reinforcements did actually come from this naval blockade. So it's not like it was destroyed by someone. Like, this is one of the reasons why the colonists did lose the battle, was because they were overwhelmed on the third uh, wave because of the reinforcements from some of these ships. Uh, they also ran out of ammunition. But yeah, no, this, this didn't happen. That is the end of the first mission. The uh, next chapter that I want to look at is the one directly following this. It shows the actual battle of Barker Hill. Um, it is interesting how some of the things are shown in that mission. Um, as for this one, it I feel like it did show some historical accuracies such as how the town was destroyed. Um, it showed that it was on Breed's Hill obviously. Um, it, it did have some good good uh, information displayed in it. But then again it did have some inconsistencies with just how history actually happened. Uh, most of these inconsistencies follow because this is an entertainment product and uh, history does seem to take a little bit of a backseat even if um, historians were consulted in the development of the game. Um, I mean, the same thing can be said about films, though. They are entertainment projects, and uh, they, they still can be used to help teach history in uh, 
a lot of a lot of college classes use films. So here we see some of the aftermath. Um, a lot of destruction. Maybe not so many of the buildings destroyed, but I believe that's due to a, lo a lot less buildings are destroyed in the aftermath for some reason, rather than when the cannons were actually being shot at in the previous mission. But that that's just because of different assets that are available to the development team and. Um, just rendering technology. So here we have uh, Putnam giving his white of their eyes speech. Um, it is still discussed whether or not he was the actual one to give this speech, but a lot of historians do believe it was him. Yeah, this is just a little bit before the. Before the charge that you'll see. Observe your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. So he, he does mention how it is important to conserve ammo. Uh, again, that is one of the reasons why the colonists had to retreat was because they were... They did run out of ammo at a point. I'll be there. Um, here's a conversation that was about a speech. how Lies, all of it, the I'm main afraid. character, uh, Connor, is Still, going to attack such words have carried us thus far. the enemy lines head on, which again is another dramatization. He's left uh, As I said, he would. The Connors. This, this was a defensive battle no for the Connors, not offensive. Um, here we see the enemy lines. We see how many uh, circle around British are, are on the ranks. field. Obviously, the British do outnumber the uh, there is no the colonists as will have a to direct is documented in That's twice today you proposed the impossible. Uh, historical sources. I see no other choice. Such as uh, Ketchum Not and Craze books. I expect an apology on my return. Uh, one of the other things that was that was shown in this was how um, how the enemies. You can't really see them, but you can see the flashes over that way. There, they just fired. Um, you can see how many there are, and. Uh, that they were actually on a hill. Now, according to the map, they they did approach from the uh, ocean side, which is the same way that we just approached. So that's another historical inconsistency that this game does show. Uh, they're also on a hill, which the map doesn't show. They approach. The map shows that they approach from underneath. The comics have a high They refer to some, I guess, ground level, if that's a good way to phrase it. But rather than on an actual hill, uh, they also should have been the ones that were attacking us rather than us attacking them. Um, again, another inconsistency. But it is more dramatic to, sh to be the one that's attacking rather than the one who's defending. So that was just another concession to sell more uh, more units of game. So right here, obviously, they should have seen them. But assassins are sneaky. Dram dr dramatization, again. So, yeah, climbing a cliff, because that's what assassins do. Uh, again, not accurate. Uh, so this section of the mission 
has a sneaking into the enemy camp to assassinate Pitcairn. Uh, he did actually die during this battle, so that is good. Uh, historical information, I guess. Not the way he dies is different. Obviously, no one. Well, you'll see. Obviously, if this was in real life, I think uh, the British would have had more um, people stationed at the camp. They wouldn't all be on the front lines like this. Um, so, like right here, there's there's only two like ways to go, or either right there, which is through the camp, you will be spotted, or around, which is the suggested, it, it's the way that they want you to go, but, you know, th this isn't, <laughs> this isn't what happened. Like, no one, no one's jumping through... trees onto flagpoles and jumping down and assassinating officials. All dr dramatization. That's not how it happened. And this this falling part is just based on the story. It's not it's not historically relevant, but Why? Where did you do this? Yeah, to that's Adams and Hancock pretty much and the end of the uh you meant this to mission. kill them. Kill them. Are you mad? I want to um, know it, 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 like the last mission, this so this one does have Explain. its pros and cons as far as historical accuracy goes. If you speak true, um, then I will carry your last words to them. They must it does show the arms. difference in numbers between the two sides. The Do the the it, it does show the famous speech. Had you let me play my part? The importance the of here. saving no, ammo. The strings on another. No, the strings should be but the, I think All the vast majority of this chapter specifically is dramatization. Just because, again, entertainment. It was made for entertainment. And more will die now. Because of that. Okay, so uh, just to reiterate my my previous point, my project will be to determine if uh, interactive media like video games can potentially serve as a tool for teaching history. Um, I, I think it will, or it could potentially be beneficial in the long run if it w it's found to be successful in raising more interest back into history after uh, after the past few years there's just been a big shift towards STEM as far as uh, college enrollment goes and I think this could go a ways to pushing it a bit the other way so uh yeah hopefully hopefully the save this time would be fantastic if it did but that is my presentation <laughs>